Um, what are the long-term effects of joint treatments, injectables, but especially cortisone? But maybe if you're happy to, we could touch on what the options are. Is cortisone a long-term solution? Well, first of all, I have to say, why are you treating the joint? Because I don't believe that treatment of joints prevents problems. I think you should be treating a joint if you know that joint is a source of pain causing lameness. And then you will need to be managing that horse on a repeated basis. And we have a number of different therapeutic options to inject into joints, one of which is cortisone. Um, we have different preparations of corticosteroids. Some are shorter acting, some are longer acting, some are more potent than others. So if you are going to be using corticosteroids on a more than once basis, you have to be aware of potential adverse effects as well as the beneficial effects. Corticosteroids are one of the most potent anti-inflammatory drugs that we have available to us. But if they're given too frequently, they have the potential to have negative influences on the articular cartilage, which is part of the joint. Um, and some corticosteroids are worse at that than others. So triamcinolone would be the best and methylprednisolone acetate would probably be the worst. Um, we have other treatment options. We have hyaluronic acid, which is a normal constituent of synovial fluid. The amount that's produced in an inflamed joint is reduced and its quality is reduced by putting in hyaluronic acid from outside, you can improve the joint environment. And then one of the more modern treatments is to use stem cells. And there are now commercially available um, stem cell products that can be directly injected into joints, which probably, if you use the right product, can have a quite long lasting effect without the deleterious consequences of corticosteroids. And there are all sorts of other drugs. If you look at the availability, there are all sorts of other drugs, which are some of which have good scientific <laughs> validity and others which don't. But I would still be saying this treat, this kind of practice of um, we need to treat the joints. It's four months since the joints are treated. Medicaid, yes. Uh, why? Why? Is there any indication that that is of any benefit to the horse unless that joint has an underlying problem. And I would say no. If the horse we know has a problem, then we have to determine what is the optimal interval between treatments for that specific joint. But to be thinking, oh, it's time that we medicated the coffin joints, the fetlock joints and the stifles and the hocks, to me is ridiculous. And injecting joints is not a non-invasive procedure and it is not without risk. Um, to the horse, because there's always, whenever you stick a needle into a joint, the potential of introducing infection, which can have devastating consequences. Um, so I think we need to be careful when using joint injections. 